Hi, my name is Erica Konko and you are watching Box20 on YouTube. Today is the very first episode of our season um, which is titled Student Businesses Startups on UG Campus here. Yes, I'm here to interview two um, other students who are making impact with their businesses. Yes, yes. So before we get into it, I um, um, appeal to all of you to subscribe to this channel because there's more content coming up motivative, empowering, and educative. Please subscribe and recommend us to others. Um, in order not to talk too much, let's meet our guest. Um, yes, so Miss Frida, um, uh, let's get to know about you and um, how you get started in whatever business you are into. Okay, like, um, for me, I am Frida, as I said, and then students in this university on this campus so like with business in terms of business I started when I was very young when I was very small I mean like I had passion a lot of passion for business and um, so I used to do this um, you see in our local language we have this baobab fruits I used to um, go for the baobab fruit then I use it for um, ice cream local ice cream wow and then let a uh, drink at a very young age yes okay. when i was around um, nine years old I'm nine yes so wow. I, I used to do that then it got to some point we had this um a bar i started um, um cooking a um, light soup good light soup and then in addition to the bar and all that so like for me i can say my motivation started from when i was young but i also got some of my motivation from this lady here because when i came here i was very down in terms of business mm -hmm. but you i saw know she, your way through our course yes. you were just a fresher yes yeah. but she was so hyper when i go to her she was like frida let's do this frida let's do that it will work and her encouraging words were just so awesome so let's say that when i got to this campus um it was later maybe in the middle of the semester that i met her oh okay yes and she told me that frida let's start something like close because and we've seen that most of the students on this UG campus they like um I mean, they like dressing, mm -hmm. so it's something that we can make money from. Yeah, exactly. Yes, yeah, so I was down. I didn't want. I was like, oh, if we buy it, how are we going to market? How are we selling? That's mm -hmm. oh, that's not a because problem. Because I mean, at level hundred, you are still setting yes. up. You really don't know anybody. So like, how do you even get yes. to um, I run your business? Who are your audience? Who will purchase? You know? Yes. yes. So, so I like the confusion started. And she, 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 she really encouraged me. Oh, Frida, let's do it. Frida, let's do it. So, um, we borrowed money from MTN because no capital. Yes. Yes, I think MTN helped us. <laughs> borrowed money from MTN and we went to the market. So At Accra? Yes. Okay, okay. Actually, we went to La Paz. La Paz? Yes. Oh, okay. So, we got some clothes. And after that, she told me, like, Frida, will they buy these things? Like she was down again. So I said, no, don't worry. So far as we bought it, we'll make sure that they buy it. So um, we brought the clothes that same day. We sold the clothes, had our money, had profit. Wow. Like we had the money, had profit, and the clothes were still like many. Uh, some were still yes, left. Yes, some were still left. Where you have even made your money and like some profit. Yes. Okay. That same day, we were able to get a lot. So we started from there, then started selling going to market buying clothes selling then corona came in and we had to stop yes but from there i mean we still move after we came back to school everything have to start again mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so for me as a student i think that with the business it is not only for uh, let's say for you to have money to spend yeah, less like for finances it help you because sometimes uh, when Brookie catch you, <laughs> you have something to rely on yes you have something to rely on so um it's something to also help you to make you grow mm -hmm. because if some young people also see you and they want to be like you yeah they yeah, want yeah. seven as a motivation yes yes already. yes 
I, I can say Josephine has really been a motivation to me because here yeah, she encouraged me, Frida, let's go for this program. Frida, let's go for this program. I'll be like, I'll be giving some excuses. No, I'm not going. I'm not going. So one time, I was in house. This girl sent me a video that she was receiving an award and she went to GP, uh, TV. I said, hey, me too, dear. Then this time, they just say, everywhere you go, I'll go some more. Because, I mean, that's life. Yeah. I also want to get what she has. Yeah. I also want and to. And even more. And get even out more. there and do it for yourself. Yes. So this semester, anywhere she goes, I go. Anywhere <laughs> she goes, I go. Because now she's a motivation to me. Exactly. Yes. And recently, we went for some skills training at head of state award scheme. She received an award with that, uh, at that organization she received an award there. so we went for a skill training program they taught us pastries and some and photo shooting some too they taught them how to print um, yes and a, a whole lot so we, we, we gained a lot of skills from there so I can say I'm very grateful to her I'm using this opportunity to say today uh, Josephine I'm, I'm grateful to you for all that you've done it's good mm -hmm. Yes, yes. I mean, we um, get to know um, how she gets started, the motivation behind it and everything. But if I could be sure, can you just um, really tell us what business exactly you are into? For me, I'm multi-purpose. <laughs> yes, everywhere I'm there's multi money, you are there. Yes, everywhere <laughs> there's money, I'm there. I'm a multi-purpose human being. But I, one day I just started, like, I was like, Josephine, why don't I bring a share butter here? I've seen that most people like uh, using share butter. Mm -hmm. Some use it for meat some use it for cooking. lots of cosmetics yes yeah. cooking and all you can even use it in soap making yes yes, yes. and if you are going to if you see like excuse me to say the shea butter here sometimes they mix inside it's yeah, not the mix with other stuff yes it's, it's not, not very a, natural yes it's not the raw shea butter but from yes. north it's very natural because the ladies make it themselves and they, they make sure that they bring out the quality um, share butter. Yeah. Yeah. So I started with the share butter. Yeah. But I'm still starting. Like I'm not still there. Mm -hmm. So for the branding, yes, I've I've done the sticker, they created the sticker, but yet I've not started branding. But my the first badge I bought is all sold. It's all sold. Yes. Wow. Yes. Yeah. That's so, very impressive. So it's 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 gone. So basically, let's say that's the main thing now. Share butter, even though I sell eggs, even though I sell other things, things yeah. yes. But the share butter is the major business we are yes. into. Okay, wow, 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 wow. Um, so we just finished talking to um Frida on how she got started and the business she's into, and um, she's selling um raw share butter. I know most of you out there you know um about share butter already it can be used in um, a lot of things in cooking in pomade in soaps and all of that and frida here is a northerner yes she's from um, upper west upper east upper east Nagongo. yeah over there um if i could just add my voice like that's where share butter comes from i mean i'm from the upper east myself so i know what i'm talking about yes okay um so let's kindly get to know our second guest and what how she gets started and what she's into okay my name is just to be once again actually <laughs> for how i get started let me talk where the business really started from okay you see you can't enter into something once you don't have any idea about you get it so i was a science student by then way back in secondary school that's vijay senior high in fact, Fijai Senior has given me so much opportunity and so much good things that when I came out of school, I'm making use of it and it's really helping me. Very, very good. I quite remember way back on Fijai campus, though I was a science student, I was passing by whilst a business, a group, a business students were having a, 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 a training with some white people from Western College, that's United States of America. Wow. They actually came about teaching uh, entrepreneurship and leadership, innovation, leadership, and inter entrepreneurship. So I was just peeping through the window, trying to listen what was going on. Later, I was called by a friend that should come and join them. I didn't know what was going on, but I joined, and I was asked to do introduction. So in the group that I was, though I did my introduction, I was selected out of my group to add to the group that was going to represent for the um, business 
a presentation on that day yes so this is the skills that i acquired knowledge about business so despite the fact that i did this on campus i also joined what we call the head of state hour scheme as part of the many activities that um, one engaged in, in the head of state hour scheme which was being founded by the prince of Edinburgh, that's london and england yeah so as part of these activities um you have to actually go for an expedition you have to um, learn, learn some skills and interest okay so my skill and interest i said to go uh, i said learning how to prepare sobolo so that's what i learned after learning this i realized that i could make good use of this by putting it into practice uh -huh. so when i came on um, legon campus that is what i started with and now i can see it's moving okay during that process i also thought of it that okay since my parents have a palm plantation then why can't i also make good use of that palm plantation so i decided to also go into a palm oil business that is what i have now started calling it the authentic local palm oil because sometimes though it has not been approved by fda yet but i'm in the process finally um, lo and behold by god's grace giz is registering my business for me and from there i'll proceed to gea uh, ghana entrepreneurship authority for my product to be approved by fda for free which i thank that that i thank the government for putting up such initiative yes so this is what I am into now, the palm oil business. And I don't even stress myself with the buying because it is a good product. So good thing sells out for itself. So I just visit two or more uh, two vendors who sell beans that oh please this is my product, just have a sample. They themselves call me for it. Sometimes they have to put pressure on me, they have to um sometimes I have to skip class, yes, I have to sacrifice skip plus go for the product in the village then bring it back to the city and so also when i during the COVID, i also thought of engaging myself into something online i was searching searching all over around to know what um what to go into online like online business and uh, so i saw a friend advertising a hair product and i said okay um i would also like to sell some so how do i help you so sell some so that you can give me some commission okay so that friend connected me to a friend and that friend also connected me to the company actually within a month i was selected to be a distributor from agent to a uh, distributor and i was like how just because of how even though i don't uh, because of my my hard work and my eagerness and my readiness to help and support the company they took me to be a distributor meanwhile i had friends who were there before me and who even introduced me to the business by yes still they are still agents uh -huh. so this is what i mean to the palm oil business is what i am into now and lo and behold i think it serves as a lot of motivation to people that the other time before i received my presidential award as a gold award holder of the head of state award scheme i was called to gtv for an interview and i see that i'm making progress out of this wow i mean i didn't know all of this like this thing <laughs> i didn't know all of this that's that's very I, I mean i wish you could just keep on talking and talking and talking but it looks like you have a lot of a lot to say yes thank you so much and when you were talking you you said something that um you can't start a business without knowing what you are into without having an idea so I, I, I have always found this confusing. If you um, set out to like make a difference, which one do you should think should come first? Is it like the money or the plan? Like, should I have an idea first or I should have money first? You should have an idea first. Do you know what? Let me tell you one secret about myself. To start a business doesn't mean that you have to have money before you start a business. Before I started the Alomed business, you know what? I said I don't have money. First, I don't know the company. So I can't invest my money into it. Well, so if you want me as an agent, then trust me. I also trust you. Give me your product outside the end. I'll give you your money and take my profit. Keep my profit. And when my profit is up to then, I'll start using my own profit to reinvest into the business. And that is where the trust started from. 
I never invested 10% into my Alumet, uh, Alumet business, but Alumet trusted me, Alumet company trusted me, and now I'm making it. So as a, as, as a point in time, as you're moving, your, your way of life or your way of doing things will um, impress some people. Um, I want to use this opportunity to even thank my sister, Mr. Mrs. Precious fully. I think um, she also supported me um, with like uh, three cartons of Alumet products. She gave me money to invest into it. You understand? Just because of an effort, though I was doing, I'll take it from the company, sell it, and give the money back to them. She supported me with an amount of money to start with my business. So these are the little things you have to do. So I started from somewhere, and now I'm getting to somewhere. It serves as a motivation to somebody to help you, you understand? So you don't really need money to start business. You can be at your comfort zone. If I, I, you have a friend who sells something at the shop, you take a picture, put it on your status. If someone has you, add small profit to it. You are making money, isn't it? Yeah, so you don't need money to start a business. Yes. So it all boils out to your ideas and plan. And if you are doing something, you have to do it with a difference. You understand? You don't go by the way everyone is going. You have it's, to. It's, it's okay. <laughs> Um, um, she's going too deep into the interview. If I don't stop her, we'll have any questions to ask her again. <laughs> oh, but it has been fun getting to know I mean, how they both got started. Very humble beginnings. I mean, I cannot imagine just setting up like to start a business without money. Um, a wise man once told me that um, you don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. I think you brought these words to life. Thank you so much. Yes, um, so um, to my next question, um, what is unique about your products? For my products, I can just say that I'm, I mean like, I can't compare my product to any other product because it's special, it's just special. What makes it special? What makes it special? Um, um, what we use for the product is share nuts. Mm -hmm. We all know that we use share nuts for the products. But, Um, yes, so we have a brand of the share butter here. It's, um, it has a sticker, but we couldn't get a sticker. Yes, but we just I'll just give it here, then she'll show you like the whole thing. And um, if you can break down like the whole process of like getting the share butter, just okay. shortly, briefly. Okay. As you can see, it's very natural, very pure, and um, mostly um, for me, what I notice here is that. All the share butter, like they've been selling around. You see the color is black. You see, like the color is always so different. But just look at the share butter. You see, it's just pure natural, pure, because we didn't add anything. It's just organic. Just the um, share nuts. Then um, we take it from there. So, like for the share butter, what 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 do you need to make it? It's just the share nuts. Yeah. Very you healthy. It's very healthy. Yes. Nothing is inside. Nothing is just natural. You yes. can use it for food because me mostly this is what I use for my stew. Oh, for for me in school I don't use it because maybe some students will tell me they don't like the scent. Just like how I brought dawa dawa and I was using it to cook in my room and they told me they don't like the scent, so I had to stop. Mm -hmm. So um, I, ha I have to just stop so that at least they will also feel good. Yeah, but if you are out there and then you think like share butter um is um it has a weird smell and all of that i mean i should i should my advice to you is that maybe you should reconsider it because um, it's it's natural it's healthy and go after what is healthy not the scent and it's not even that bad after all because i've even tasted some and it's great yeah so please let's get to um josephine to as well what's unique about there are a lot of um, palm oil in the system. Why did you set out to do palm nuts as well? Why not other products? Okay, so since I told you my parents have their palm plantation, so I decided to make good use of it. Actually, you have to use what you have to produce what you want to, to sell out to the market. You understand? So what is so unique about my product is that it has no expiry date. Yes just that when you prepare it and you put it down for a long time um, the 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 smell maybe the the nice smell would 
come out of it because it has been there for a long time it's not freshly prepared but this product has no preservative inside um, i learned the other time and news was circulating that they had done whatever to it to make it red my product has no such thing it has its natural color you understand yes, yes. this is um, a sample of it so yes. this is from jose enterprise that's authentic local palm oil zomino a special pa, 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 pa. <laughs> Mrs. <laughs> Zomino is special. Okay, a no way to know a pomo diya kama. We want the Awiyane sell befa authentic local palm oil from Jose Enterprise. And no one on here with us. Correct advertisement. <laughs> yes, okay. Um, so, um, we know that I am. Um, how long have your business been since you started how long okay has it been? i started um that was in um last year i started last year uh, last two years sorry so, i started last two years that's 2020 so when i saw the product was improving and all that i presented some evidence to the national academy of student achievement awards ghana so i was nominated to be part of the outstanding student entrepreneur of the year and you and people my friends my families and other people that helped also um they supported me to win this award so wow as that's, that's a, very outstanding student entrepreneur of the year that was 2021 last year. yeah so you started um, and roughly within one year, and you are already winning an award. Wow, um, that's 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 quite very impressive. Yes. Um, so, um, since you started, like, can you give us roughly how much profit you made? Like, roughly, <laughs> or you don't do check oh, do your balance? You know I do that with my palm oil business. Do you know? There are seasons that, if you study the trend, there are seasons that the price shoot up because of the scarcity of the palm fruit to prepare or to manufacture palm oil. Do you get it? Uh -huh. so, so with this time, when the time that there is abundance of palm fruit to produce more palm oil, you sell some, but you don't sell or you put part of it down. So when the price shoots up, then you bring it out to sell to the market and you double you get double of your profit <laughs> and if even possible get like times two of the amount you invested into it mm -hmm, uh -huh. mm -hmm. so just imagine if a gallon of you bought a gallon of um, uh, that's uh, 25 liters of palm oil at 200 Ghana cities and you are now selling it at 350 or 400 Ghana cities. Even now, fried or gallon is even around 410 Ghana cities. So it should also look within the range of palm oil and not just palm oil, authentic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all is set for the five seconds rule game. So I just asked you a question, as I said earlier, answer within five seconds. Okay, so we start. When I answer, then you start. Yeah. Um, so Frida, mention two colleges in UG. College of um, Basic and Applied Sciences. College of Education. <laughs> okay, okay, right, you've gotten it. Okay, um, Josephine, I'll mention um, three of your level 100 lectures. Level 100 lectures. lectures. Okay, <laughs> we have um, Dr. Um, Dr. <laughs> Mrs. Mona Sonish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one, we have. Next time, next time. <laughs> I, think, I think we should give them one minute. <laughs> <laughs> the three, uh, the three, this thing was too much. Yeah, it's only <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, Frida, please, it's your turn. Um, three of your level 100 lectures. Okay, okay Dr. Kia Meu, um, Dr. Odru, and then Dr. <laughs> well, 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 it's time to. Okay. Okay, um, just finish your time. Um, three things that you cannot come to school without. I can't come to school without diary. I can't come to school without <laughs> rice. <laughs> 
I can't come to school without money. Oh well, you just finished within the time too, so um, Frida, three things you can't come to school with. Three things you can't come to school with them. Like three things you don't come to school with them. <laughs> okay, I can't come to school with my siblings. I can't come to school with my mother, and I can't <laughs> come to school. <laughs> Thank you so much. The essence of this game is not to um, see who answers the best question. It's just like how fast you are able to work with time. And it's, it's just for fun. It, so to the very final part of an interview, let's get to know um, some of the challenges they are facing um, with their businesses, working as a, um, a solo person, a young person, and as well as a student. How do you manage the challenges that come up with your businesses, Frida? Okay, so to me the challenges since I started, I can say that my major challenge is um, the distance. Yes, the distance. You see, from here to north is really quite far. Yes. So before they can bring the product to you, you have to pay a lot. And then when they bring the product to you and you also want to sell it out at a high price, they are complaining. So that is just the ma major challenge I'm facing. And also um, with other um, businesses I'm doing, I can say that capital is a little bit something because it's not like I'm working with any company that I can take from them after I'm done then I'll return the money yes this is my own business so like capital sometimes capital is something because you are doing it yourself it's kind of like if they give you your money your chop money your chop money then you invest it inside but I've been getting a lot out of it I can remember when we are in level and sometimes he can catch you, sir. You don't get anything. But now, in the hey, everything is normal. Stable. Everything stable. is stable. I mean, there's no day I'll get up and then I'll see that oh, I lack. No, because I'm doing something. My egg business is really going. It's really going. The students, you see, they like eggs, so it's really moving. And I'm getting she has a, been lot, chopping my money. a lot of. Yeah, she, she, from she's it. the reason why I'm not yet a billionaire. <laughs> Yes, so basically, I think for my business, those are the challenges. Just because we know some of the challenges you encounter as an authentic local <laughs> palm nut uh, palm oil, oil. Palm, palm oil distributor. Okay, um, sometimes uh, if you don't have some of the product in stock, you understand, then you have to, uh, since I'm a student, sometimes I have to wait till when I have class done before i'll quickly rush to easter region then go to the village go and carry their product or sometimes i meet them on the way to take their product and since i wouldn't like my profit to go into the transportation i'll carry it on my head walk from a long distance to the um let's say um where i would get a car to board then from there bring it to my client to sell uh -huh. so sometimes the transport the means of transportation of the goods to the marketing place is a problem uh -huh. so if maybe i would um, so as time goes on maybe i would get some small vehicle and employ someone who would be transporting the goods to me to my marketing place then it will be easier for me so mine is to just send my client sending a command then sending my driver to go for the product then delivering it yes yeah um so how do you see yourself maybe after school or like maybe within the next five years hmm. within the next five years since uh, the government has brought an initiative to advertise it uh, to approve your product for you for free i think within the uh, next five years and i get an investor through that yes i'll be a billionaire <laughs> I'm the, the number one leading best oil sellers in the whole world. Zomi. <laughs> Zomi, Zomi especially. Zomi, 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 Zomi seller. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's very laudable. Um, and I also want to use this um, platform to say a very big thank you to the government. I don't know, um, maybe if I have not really tried to get to know some of these um, startups, because I'm not sure a lot of people are aware of these uh, schemes that is out there to help young people. So um, a very big thank you to um, the government and like maybe if the marketing can be so well so that it will call up for some of these young students starting up with their businesses. And, um, if you could 
tell us how governments can come in to support small businesses? All right, the government is doing its best. It's just that we don't get access to information on time and because most of us wouldn't read a lot. Yes. Already, I recently attended a program organized by the GWES, that's the Ghanaian Women Entrepreneurship Summit, which the government himself itself is supporting some already. Yes, even those that are disabled, those that are already into the business, the government is supporting them already. So I think the government is doing something. Is this year I could see it's full of business entrepreneurship, women into entrepreneur startups and all that. I think the government is doing something already. So it's it's at high time we start looking for such information and where we can get those opportunities and engage ourselves into. That's it. Yeah, and your advice to uh, young people coming up with business ideas and those who are already in business. Oh, those who are already in business. Uh, what I'll tell you is that nothing should quit you. The challenges will come. But remember that the challenges, they are just a catalyst that are driving you towards your goal. Because when those challenges does not come up, how would you give an interesting story to someone if one day you are being successful? Know that every successful man had a, a, a story. Yes, we had the story once had the story. Yes, so you should know that once you are already into it is a plus for you and those who are coming up i will advise you that there is nothing that is impossible everything is possible the challenges are there yes just to motivate us but also motivate yourself when the challenges come know that in every challenge there is always a solution to that there is always there is no problem that has no solution yes there's solution to that so you have to open up yourself network you understand you have to the network is the most important thing because when i introduced this product to benzola at uh, close to a for the shop close to a for and like see this man gave me some an, an idea that i think i could have paid for i could have paid for even this palm oil business was as a result of a, a an entrepreneurship summit that i went that was Mr. The one who inspired me to go into this business was Mr. Franklin Ajite, the principal of British International School, who happens to be the son of the late Second Speaker of Parliament, um, that's Ajite, Al Ajite, yes. So, such a big man advising me, and you know, so the network is very important. The network itself is very important. You can't be alone and think that you can do it all by yourself. Just network, ask, ask for information. How would I do this? How would I do that to make it successful? Yes, I have presented this label and product as mine, but yes, too, I think I have to do more about it. So it's just in the process. Yeah. Yes, thank you so much. Um, Frida, please, your last word to our audience. Well, <laughs> okay, so I want to use this opportunity to say that um, we came here not only to what to speak about um, how we started up, but also to advertise ourselves. So I hope that from here we'll be getting calls in and out. Said some want to buy Zomi and some to like to buy a share butter so i hope that maybe from there here we'll get many calls from people and i also want to um tell um the young people out there that um your background doesn't matter if you want to make it if you want to make it it's up to you because some of us we are not from stable backgrounds but because of our um passion determination hard work like we we, we never lack because me if i'm going to tell you my story you It'll just be another day so yes <laughs> yes so like just 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 be you if you want to do something just believe in yourself and you make it for business try to network as she said because i came here and realized that there are so many opportunities there are so many opportunities the government is really helping not that they are not helping just that we are not aware of those opportunities so try to network and those opportunities you know them and also uh, thank you for listening to us we are very grateful and thank you mrs miss box 20 okay, okay for having us nice. yeah. <laughs>
Yes, um, thank you so much. Um, this is the end of our interview. And um, if you could pick up something, I think the whole highlight of this interview from young uh, uh, people perspective is that, first of all, you have to get an idea. I think that is very important. That's one of the most important things I've learned from this interview. You have to get an idea. A wise man once said that, um, get an idea, work hard, work hard, dock it down, write it down, work hard to, um, you make it out there yes um many things will come to shift your focus um you definitely have one or two challenges but like don't give up make sure that the idea that you have is the right idea then you keep on work, working and working till you make it out there and then also to the 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 networking too is a very key factor in our very uh, like in everything because like even getting these people here all of these people here, making this happen is due to networking yeah so that's a very important habit to have as a young person so you hear from us again many 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 amazing interviews are coming up so kindly subscribe to this channel to stay informed to listen to the stories from young people perspective on how they are faring not just in businesses but like in academics in um, jobs in um, the small changes people are making up in their communities we are bringing stories from young people um because as a young person too i think it's very important if you get to know that um what other people are doing be beside like their age beside um, um, um the state um the challenges they face in their studies and all of that so i want to leave um this interview with this word um quote that says that you don't have to be great to start but you have to start to be great so we hear from you next time it's bye bye for now <laughs> oh.